right, we're gonna try something new here today. We're gonna have cooking class. Now this right here has become one of my favorite recipes. It's easy to make, it makes plenty, and it, you reheat it, it tastes just as good with a little bit of butter. Now I take this on hunting trips and uh, camping trips, stuff like that, and uh, I really enjoy it. Figured I'd share it. So here's the list of ingredients you'll need. Two boxes of Jiffy Honey Cornbread Mix. Extra honey if you like it sweet, like me. One green pepper, one yellow squash, two eggs for your cornbread, and some milk for your cornbread mix. Now after you've got all your ingredients, you're gonna take a sharp knife, grab that old bell pepper, dice her up, grab that old squash and dice her up. <laughs> Now when you get done, should look something about like that. Now, throw you a little butter in there and get them browning. And while that is browning, preheat your oven and follow the uh, instructions on the back of your Jiffy box. One egg and a third cup of milk. We're doubling it, so we're gonna do two thirds, two eggs, and some extra honey. Extra honey if you like it sweet. Then give her a good old mixing. Kids don't know about that these days. I got the little fancy mixer that does it by themselves. Oh yeah. My helpers woke up from his nap. What are we cooking? That. What is that? Cornbread. Say camp cornbread. Cornbread to Papa. Camp Papa likes camp cornbread, don't he? Yeah. Say so we're about to put her in the oven. My oven. Oh yeah, they're getting brown. I think they're about ready. Take these. I like putting them in the bottom of the pan. Alright, once you brown them, put them in the bottom of the pan there. Spread them out kind of even, somewhat. And then pour your mix on top. Should look about like that. Vegetables on the bottom. Cornbread's gonna slide its way around and get down to the bottom. And then you're gonna nuke it. Fifteen twenty minutes till it's done. Check it. Fifteen. Probably takes about 20, but we'll check at 15, depending on the size pan you use. So 15 minutes is up, and it's nowhere near close because this pan's a little bit deeper. Alrighty, she looks done. We'll let her cool off there before we dig in. Now that right there, Bo, is looking good. Smells even better. I'm about to chow down. 
Now being a camp cornbread connoisseur that I am, that has the perfect crispy crunch and the soft moist inside, boys. That's good right there, son. We about to tear it up. So I'm not camping today, but I'm outside at the pool at my house. Made this uh, camp cornbread yesterday. Today I'm gonna reheat it again. Basically all you do is throw it in the skillet, but this time I always crumble it up where it can soak in some butter. You just get that butter melting. And kind of crumble it up sucks that butter back in and gets it moist again where it ain't dry and you can see this made it last night so this is the day after and I've still got some left and you can never add too much butter Now that's it for this cooking class. I hope y'all enjoyed it and stay tuned. We'll see what we can come up with next. Trying to get creative. I know y'all get tired of watching them same old dirt races up there at Tazewell. It almost kind of makes like a casserole. And I prefer it to eat it like this over the square too. I wish y'all could smell through a camera lens.